Hey you guys, how are you? It's Fridia here and today I have a Sephora and Lush haul and I feel like this is sort of deja vu. I was just here talking about it maybe a few weeks ago and I did it again. I went to the skincare area because I'm, I've been having just a little bit of trouble. I'm sure it's because of the weather and you know, the dry and it's raining but then we have the heater on so it gets really dry. So I went in and I picked up something that I've been wanting to try for quite some time now which is the Bosha line and I've tried the Bosha, um, the sponge, the face sponge, which I actually still use and I do love, but this time I picked up two other things, which are these beauties right here, and I'm going to start off with the Bosha Makeup, uh, Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. Now they had two different types of cleansing oil. Uh, actually it's an oil and then one was more of a gel, and I opted for the oil one because I'm just an oiled kind of gal, and um, they also had a travel size. Originally, I was just like, I'm not going to get a cleansing gel or anything. I'll be fine with my um, Bioderma for now, and I went to the register carrying this guy. But then they had this little guy for $10 right by the register, and I was like, I might as well just pick it up and try it um, while we go out of town. But... I decided to try it before we left, and I'm actually really pleased with it. So what I've been doing at night is, with my Bioderma, I take off all my makeup, and then I go back in with this guy and just kind of massage everything all in, and um, you can kind of feel the makeup or something coming off your skin, and it feels really nice, because then when you um, go to wash your face, it gives you this really thin layer of softness to it. I don't know how to explain, but... Um, your skin immediately just feels so soft right before you wash it. And um, yeah, I like it. It's it's a little bottle, but I think it'll last quite some time if you want to try it out and $10 isn't that bad. I wanted this one because it's a detoxifying black cleanser and it actually does come out black. And the cool thing about this guy is that once you put it on your skin, it warms um, as soon as you, it touches your skin, it warms up. So it's kind of this um, interesting heating sensation type of thing, which I actually really like. Um, it feels like you're in a spa. You know, like when you're lying down and she's like, I don't know, picking at your skin or whatever, and then she puts something cool and she puts something warm, and it that combination somehow just is really nice. What I like about it is it's preservative-free. There's no... Um, no, no alcohol, there's no gluten in it, um, so it's really sensitive to your skin, but at the same time it's doing what it's supposed to, and I've used it maybe four times now. It says to use it AM, PM, but what I've been doing is I've been using it at, at night, so um, after I wash my face, um, then I take this and I rub it in, give it a good massage, and then I uh, wash my face off, and it feels so nice. The next day, it's like you have totally different skin. I went off of the reviews, you know how I am about reviews, and um, yeah, this totally didn't, didn't disappoint. I actually feel like I'm going to bring my uh, full-size bottle when I travel too because it's something that I need. And yeah, it has the glycolic acid, it has vitamin C, and it has the charcoal that draws out the excess oil on your skin. Um, what else is there? Artichoke leaf extract helps improve elasticity to help tighten pores. So, hey, I'm sure if I keep using it, my skin will be totally different, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So I also went shopping with my friend who's pregnant, and she told me that once you get pregnant, there are a lot of products that you cannot use, and this is one that you can. All their products are pregnancy friendly, I guess. And um, so yeah, I thought that was cool too because that means you're not, it's not as uh, chemically as other things, I guess. Um, yeah, so far, this is great. It's the Peter Thomas Roth uh, SPF 45. And the reason why I got this one is I've just realized that when you put makeup on and when you're out and about, it's really hard to put SPF on during the winter time. Isn't it? I don't... Like, when it's summer, it kind of... You're, you're reminded of 
putting it back on because the sun is so high and it feels so hot and all that. But during the winter, you're thinking, oh, it's gloomy. There's nothing's hitting my skin. And you're actually wrong. It still is. There's still UV rays coming down. So I thought if I had a powder to touch up while I'm in the bathroom, then, and it also protects my face with SPF, then it's a plus for me. So um, I just picked this up. This has been a favorite of mine for the longest time now. So I, uh, yeah, I think I just need to have this with me all year round. Then I walked my little legs over to Lush and I just couldn't resist. After I did my Lush haul, you guys recommended me so many things and I went in there, I was just like, I just wanna take a peek. I just wanna see what's going on and you know, I wanna try these little products that everyone's been talking about and when you go in there and they try it on on your hand and they pour the water and they do all that stuff, then you just, need to have it and you need to buy it and that's what happened but I did do a little bit of research before I went so I kind of knew what I wanted to get and one of them was a mask I heard that they do really good masks and I'm a big fan of it I do a lot of the sheet masks but I wanted something that really helps detoxify things and I got the mask of uh, Magna Minty. The girl that works there told me that this is one of their most popular items and this is the self-preserving one. So they have a self-preserving one and the original one. This is the new one. The original one, apparently the expiration date is a lot shorter, the self-preserving one a little bit longer, and it also doesn't dry out as much as the original one. We tried both of them on my arm and I could totally see the original one with the clay, uh, it just really dries it up and so I didn't really want that feeling, I just wanted it to be very moisturizing, especially during the winter time. So I'm going to try this, I haven't tried it yet, um, I've been waiting to make this video before I do anything, but this smells so good, it's like a green, it looks like green chocolate chip, mm, and it smells so minty. It smells really good. Um, she said that you can use it for your face and body, and the way that she would do it is just apply it on the face, wait 15-20 minutes, but she said that she's actually waited an hour and it didn't dry up her skin. Look you guys, I really did my homework. They gave me this book that explains to me what all the products are, so I have a lot to read. My next product, I bought a little tin can so that I can carry it with me. And it smells so good. Okay, it's not just a regular bar of soap. Let me tell you what this one is. Going back to the sales rep at Lush, she was asking me what I liked, and I told her I liked like the creamy, um, very moisturizing, the rose arrogant body conditioner, the rose shower gel, and she said this really complements all of those things. And this is the Buffy Feel Good Exfoliating Bar. So inside the bar, they have like almond and rice. Yeah. They have ground almond and rice, and she uses it on her tush because it also has caffeine or something? I don't know. The girl said that she used it on her tush a lot or on her thighs because it helps just kind of massage your cellulite area, and I thought, that's key. That's a real good way to get a girl to buy it. Of course she's gonna buy this. Um, but she said she also uses it wherever she needs a little bit of extra exfoliation, like if it's around your elbow, your knee, your thighs, you know how your thighs get a little bit dry during the winter? Like you can do that and it's moisturizing because it has shea butter in it and it smells divine. It smells so warm and delicious. I just can't explain. The other reason why I got this is she said, are you ever really busy in the morning? Do you not have a lot of time to moisturize your body? And I'm like, yes, and yes. And she said that if I use the uh, the body conditioner and this, then once I get out of the shower or the bath, I will not need to use any type of moisturizer at all. So this is a test. I'm going to try this out, and I will let you know if it works or not. Or maybe you guys have tried it. Does it work? Apparently it's really, really moisturizing. We tried this one out on my hand 
as well and it was so smooth it was so nice i just want to take a bath now <laughs> and now for the fun part i am doing a giveaway while i was at lush they had all these amazing christmas products they had all these little packages, these little presents. They had so many things. Yeah, she gave me a book for that too. Um, but she had they had like so many cute just boxes that it's already wrapped and you just have to basically write to who it's for and put it under the tree. And um I thought this would be such a great gift for my viewers. I appreciate you guys so much. This has been my full one year on YouTube of constantly doing it. I started my channel a long time ago, but I didn't really think of pursuing doing YouTube content until about a year ago. And ever since then, I've been posting at least once a week. Now with Vlogmas, it's every day. And my channel has grown so much. I mean, it's not anything crazy, I get it. But I never thought that within a year it would be this many. And it's all because of you guys. I appreciate all your comments and ideas and the interaction and your friendship. Like, it's just been so much fun. The YouTube community, for me, right now so far has been very pleasant and i love it so much and i thought why not do a giveaway for you guys so for the past uh, few days i have been doing a giveaway on my instagram and facebook of little things but i thought i'd do one major big thing here on my youtube channel just to show you guys how much i appreciate you all so for the big giveaway i picked up one of these from Lush. Look how beautiful that is. This is a tin can and it's an ornament and it's as big as my head. <laughs> it is ginormous. I don't know why I picked up such a big thing to ship to you guys because it's gonna cost me a good penny. I saw it and I wanted it and I thought if I wanted it you guys would want it maybe. And the other reason is because all my favorite products are in this little guy, and I didn't even put it together. Whoever put this together knew what they were talking about. What's inside, you ask? There is a small Rose Arrogant Body Conditioner, and a small container of the Rose Jam Shower Gel. You guys. Small Ultra Balm Multi-Purpose Balm. Haven't used it, but I'm sure it's amazing. It's from Lush the vanilla puff dusting powder so you can kind of just dust your body like if you're wearing a little party dress especially for new year's or anything like that um and you're just showing some skin hey why not wear it during the summer too jlo does it but you can just put it on and it has like this vanilla y sort of scent and it's also very glistening and that sounds divine snow cake soap that sounds really good it's like a Christmas soap. Five holiday treats in this guy right here. And it is going to one person. And I am going to do this internationally. So anybody who is watching anywhere in the world, I will ship you one of these. Yep, I am going to ship you this thing that's the size of my head or a children's bowling ball to wherever you are. And it's actually really heavy. Oh no, what have I done? But yes, I really do want you guys to have it. So if you want to be entered to win this beauty, then please like this video, give it a thumbs up, then comment below that you want to be part of the giveaway. And if you wanna say why, please let me know. And then you'll have to go over to my blog. I know this is an extra step and it's really frustrating and I apologize, but this is the only way that I can do it with you guys. So for that little extra effort, you might be able to win this. Once you go onto my blog, um, it'll have either that raffle copter or the woo box and it will tell you to possibly like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, and stuff like that, and then you'll be entered. And on Rafflecopter, I know that you could just keep going and re-enter yourself once a day, I believe. Not sure about Woobox, I will 
double check and write everything in the description box below. But um, yeah, feel free to just like go bonkers on it and keep entering yourself every single day because I'm going to leave this open until, yeah, you're not gonna get this for Christmas. No, it's gonna be after Christmas. I'm going to keep this giveaway open until Christmas day. Sorry you guys, you won't be able to get this until after Christmas. But it's also because I will be out of town and I don't know if I'll be able to send this out during the holidays. As soon as I get back, which will be the following Monday, the 29th, then I will be able to ship this out. The day after Christmas, I will announce who the winner is and I will do that either on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, so keep your eyes peeled. And if I can get your information before Monday, then I will make sure that this is shipped out first thing Monday morning. So good luck you guys! Hopefully someone who really wants this gets this and um, I will be doing mini giveaways throughout the month and hopefully I'll be doing more in the new year. Thank you guys always so much for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you in a new video very very soon. Alright, bye!